Your Health Matters, another eye-opening look into modern medicine. Dr. Quentin Allen from the Illinois Eye Center is our guest, and he's here to talk about bifocal implants for cataract patients. Doctor, I know cataract surgery is now very common. Is, is this the next step up? It certainly is, Mike. Cataract surgery is one of the most common procedures performed in the United States. There are several million cataract surgeries performed every year, and this has been an advancement in this technology. When, when you undergo the surgery, what, what exactly happens? Well, surprising to most people, this is actually not a major surgical intervention. It's about a 10-minute outpatient procedure, and we do this under light IV sedation. So most patients are actually awake and, and alert and talking to me as I huh. perform the surgery. Is it almost like LASIK? It's extremely similar to LASIK surgery. The only difference is that we do one eye at a time. With LASIK surgery, we can actually do both eyes in one setting. When, uh, when, when you go through this, obviously the, the, the main intent is to deal with the, with, with, with the cataracts. Uh, what else are you getting out of it that you, would get, that you would get with a normal surgery? Well, with typical cataract surgery, perhaps 10, 15 years ago, we expected for patients to have reasonably good distance vision after surgery. But now we've got implants for cataract surgery where once we remove the cataract, we actually put in an implant that not only provides distance vision, but can correct for astigmatism, can also correct for the ability to be able to read up close without glasses at all, and still maintain good distance vision. Huh, so you're, you're really talking about two or threefold improvement in-, in Absolutely, in absolutely. Not, not just correcting the cataract problem. Is, is this result common for all people, or what, what, what should you expect? The majority of patients who have cataract surgery are good candidates for bifocal implants. However, if, if a patient has macular degeneration or diabetes or dry eye or other problems, then that could pose a problem with healing with the surgery. So we generally recommend this for people with healthy eyes, and that's why a screening examination is necessary to find out if somebody's going to be a candidate. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. We've really moved a long way in this, haven't we? Yeah. Doctor, thanks for coming in. If you want to find out more, go to our website, wek.com, and go to Your Health Matters and find out.